All right, how's everybody get, doing? Let's go. Um, I started a video and then I canceled it. Uh, I had my microphone on the ground and um, just all kind of malfunctions. And then I thought to go to my, the comments because I asked for some help. And so we got some and it's from Jamie. So thank you, Jamie. Uh, let's go ahead and click on Make sure we get the whole comments. I apologize in advance for some of my comments or questions aren't well articulated with scripture. I've just got a phone and sometimes it gets a little arduous. I've just got my, just got a phone. You got a new cell phone maybe. Okay. I'll get it out. It just might seem clunky if you know what I mean. And I do. Um, question about the martyred souls crying out, oh Lord, seems their souls are present with the Lord before others. Um, this is what I would say about souls. Now, if he knew us at the foundation of the world, then we had souls with him then before we were born. Then we're born. We are born sheep, but we are born lost sheep. So I called that, hang on, let me get the spreadsheet. They're all gone now. I called that uh, crying out, how long must we wait? Um, until the great tribulation ends, they are told. I grade that because the gray stands for not literal. It is more symbolic. Some of revelation, not much, but some is symbolic. Uh, so how long, O Lord? So that's that verse we just talked about. It seems their souls are present with the Lord before others. They must wait for their brethren, symbolically. See, in my opinion, I'm not dogmatic about it. I would just need to see Bible verses to make me change my mind about it. From everything that I know or that everything that the Lord has shown me through the New Testament, that's the way I feel it. Seems they're expecting the seals that release the horses Samuel Adams, Wicked Hazy Beer commercial, The Horses Are Loosed. Yeah, well, that's your four horses of the apocalypse, War, Famine, Death. Rider on the White Horse, War, Famine, Death. Thank you for that. I'll go over that in the other channel. Um, all right. So at least we did get a, a, a question in there. So thank you, Jamie. I was wondering, you know, what y'all thought about there being well i also wanted was asking y'all uh please ask questions anytime about anything but i was specifically also myself curious what y'all thought about the church being removed <coughs> after the sixth seal or in the sixth seal and in the seventh seal so the church is removed, so the seals are not exactly a progression of time. The seals are just layers of the same time. Hmm. At least the seventh one is. I guess. Anyway. And the fifth angel sounded. These are the seven trumpets from the seventh seal. This is the fifth uh, trumpet, the angel with a trumpet that is part of the seventh seal being opened. And I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose smoke out of the pit as smoke of a great furnace and the sun 
and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. And this might be why war will be taking place to cover for the smoke. Well, it's smoke from the war. Because I do believe the waters are going to rise on this earth. <coughs> because I think that the abyss, the bottomless pit, is the North Pole area. So... So, and unto the locust were given power as scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God on their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented specifically says tormented anytime it's torment you see torment but when you see death or death and the grave which is death and hell which you get in revelation 20 and satan and those that take the mark because those are actually the fallen angels then because they inhabit the humans. It says Satan, the beast, and the false prophet don't get death. Because fallen angels don't die. They get tormented day and night forever and ever. They're thrown into the lake of fire. And it says, are tormented day and night forever and ever. And also says that about those that take the mark because it's the fallen angels. All the fallen angels of the, uh, of Satan. All the, well, I don't need, once you say fallen angels, you don't need to say of Satan. All of the fallen angels will inhabit every single human on the earth through the technology, through the mark. And that's who's getting tormented day and night forever and ever. It's the only two times in the Bible it's mentioned tormented day and night forever and ever. Those that take the mark and Satan, the beast, and the false prophet. That's it. Never says that any of Saint, uh, Satan, beast, false prophet get death, but the humans get death. And they it does not say they are tormented day and night forever and ever. And you're like, well, what about the humans that take the mark? That's because they are altered. And that's a very long story. But through the technology, Trump signed the bill 5G and beyond through the technology. And he, Trump also signed or enacted uh, something called Space Force. <laughs> Space equals aliens. Aliens equals fallen angels. Fallen angels are the ghost in the machine. That's why it says iron mixing with clay, the final kingdom. But they shall not cleave together. So the humans will die off inside of their own bodies. But the, the Godhood is then of the fallen angels who do not die. So it's very complicated. It's complicated. To them it was given that they should not kill the blah, 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 five, tormented five months and their torment was at the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. In those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locust were like unto horses prepared unto battle on their heads were as it were crowns excuse me, then their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men and they had hair as the hair of women and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. Let's move over to Ephesians. There is one body, that's the church and one spirit, that's God. Even as ye are called in one hope 
of your calling. It's what it is. It's hope. I don't even know if I'm saved. I'm in hope of it. And I really get the impression more and more each day, most days. If I spend a little too much time in uh, Friends of the World, Lap of Luxury, whatever, um, just, you, you just after a while, you kind of get the feel when you're being worldly, living in a worldly way. You, you, you'll question it. You'll say, no, I'm not suffering enough tribulation. Next thing you know, the Lord's got you all over Facebook, social media, making YouTube videos, and people get mad at you. So, And that's, and that's, that's why you're supposed to preach the gospel to every creature. It's not to save them. It's to wake up any lost sheep through the, I mean, the Holy Spirit will use you as an avatar to uh, wake up any lost sheep. It's the Holy Spirit doing it. Man no longer teaches man to know the Lord, for they will already know me from least to the greatest of them, saith the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 31, talking about the coming new covenant. And we're like, well, that's what men do. I mean, that's how we learn about God through men. No, you learn through the Holy Spirit. People didn't run around. Jesus didn't run around. The apostles didn't run around and, and get in all these blind lepers, death, uh, leopards, blind. They didn't get all up in their faces and saying, uh, Jesus is here. Jesus was just walking through. And they just got up and followed him. They would hear his voice. They would just get up. My sheep hear my voice and I know them. And they follow me. That's how it works. You cannot wake up the dead. Goats are born goats. You can, you can, you can tie a goat down and give them the truth for 24 hours for seven days, for 52 weeks, for 10 years. Then you can let them go free. And they'll figure out a way to kill you for what you did. <laughs> sheep, lost sheep, they're going to hear the truth and they're going to take to it. Preach the gospel to every creature so that you can be hated by the world and be used to wake up sheep. But it's the world's hatred. We all must suffer through much tribulation to enter the kingdom. You've got to go through much tribulation. The world's got to hate you. If you're, if you're just having a party and you're loved by everybody, everybody loves you. You're like, I believe in Jesus, but you're, the, you're a friend of the world's man. My first question is, do you believe in free will? And if you say, no, I don't believe in free will, then I doubt you're a friend of the world. And if you say, yes, I do believe in free will, then you fit right in into the goat world because that's what goats do. Goats believe in free will. That's what they do. All right, so one Lord, one faith, one baptism. So there is one body, that's the church, one spirit, that's God, and you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, that's the spirit, one faith, that's your calling, one baptism, that's your calling, or you could say the one faith is the one body and the one baptism is the calling from the Holy Spirit. One God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all, y'all, but unto every one of us is given grace. Who is us? It's the sheep. According to the measure of the gift of Christ. 
Wherefore he saith when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. So I will read that in the New Living just to help me out a little bit. Let me see. When he ascended to the heights, he led the crowd of captives and gave gifts to his people. Okay, that was from a scripture of the Old Testament. Notice he's notice that it says he ascended. This clearly means that Christ also descended to our lowly world. Yes. Into the lower parts of the earth. You know, people say that he went to hell. I hate that. That's just stupid. That he descended is the same also that he ascended far above all heavens that he might fill all things. He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Well, and there you go. That's what you're supposed to do. And as you do that, as you do these things, be an apostle, prophecy, evangelize, teach the word, and tithing is no longer in play. That's why I would never ask 10% of your paycheck. But if you would like, I will give you my address. <laughs> I joke. You know, never hurts to make fun of the world around us. You know, I'm making fun of those guys. Just give what you can. Just give what you can. Whatever you got. Just, you know, whatever you, whatever you can freely give to me. Just, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you. But just whatever you're willing. I mean, I don't want to put you out. Yeah. Um, wolves. Yeah. Sheep's clothing. Yeah. Now, these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work, whose work? God's work, and to build up the church, the body of Christ. This is, this will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Then we will no longer be immature like children. That's how you begin. And, you know, we've taught on that a lot. If you've listened to my Bible studies for the past couple of months, then we've gone over that uh, immature like children. We sure have. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. Good grief. Uh, if, the, if, if Paul... Um, John... Uh, I would love to have those cats right here today. I'd love to have them over here in my condominium. Showing them all the social media as we peruse going online and watching various online so-called Bible Christian teachings taking place. We'd pop in and out of churches listening to preaching. <laughs> Whole boy. I wouldn't be able to shut them up. We'd all get thrown out. We'd all get beat up. Like, Trey, how could you bring those people here? I'd be like, well, that's Paul. And they, they, no, they're not. Those are, oh, they're, I don't know who your friends are. Don't you ever come back here? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's something. That's something. We won't be tossing blood about every new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies. So clever, they sound like the truth. Ooh, boy. Sometimes you just got to love that new living translation. How is it stated here? Till we all come in the unity of the faith, of the knowledge, of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we be henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. <laughs> Yeah, me and Paul and John just hanging out. Wasn't that what the Beatles are really all about? John, Paul. Yeah, George and Ringo. Wasn't there a Pope John Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Their world is nothing but making fun of the sheep. I love you. Ask questions.